In the 2016 budget for constituency projects in Kogi State, there was a 150 million naira allocation for the construction of a cottage hospital, including doctors and nurses' quarters, mortuary, and provision of drugs and equipment for Kogi local government area of Kogi State. Please note that this project was tagged new. First observation, where in Kogi local government area is the project going to be cited? Uh, while you come to terms with this, in the 2017 budget, there is another 135 million naira for the completion of a cottage hospital, which includes furnishing in Lokoja local government area of Kogi State. Uh, now this is confusing. Uh, where does one start from to track this project? First, it was started in Kogi local government area. Now it is to be completed in Lokoja local government area. Uh, uh, while we searched for this cottage hospital, we found one which was exactly similar. Uh, it was located in a Somi Osochodo community in Okene local government area. Uh, when we engaged members of the community, this is what they told us. I'm one of those that, you know, followed them into to this place to give them a land. When they came and they introduced themselves that they need a piece of land, 200 by 200 at least in size, for the siting of a, a cottage, a hospital for the community. So, and we were so delighted. And we said, OK, if it is land, we put our heads together and then measure this plot, 200 by 200 for them. I think 2014. And they told us, I mean, the work is going to start immediately, that they are even here. That, I mean, they came here to ask for the land with the I mean, uh, hospital equipment, with all the equipment. And actually, that is exactly what happened. After measuring, they said, okay, these are the equipment. It's not going to take, they told us it's not going to take time before they finish. And we are so happy that, okay, God has answered our prayer. So to uh, this May, the project started uh, dragging, dragging, dragging. So, and we pray and uh, beg you people, the monitoring team, that they should uh, please meet those concerned to see that this uh, hospital is uh, completed and we will be happy, the community will be happy. The importance of this facility, a cottage hospital in this environment, cannot be overemphasized. It's a very strategically located um, um, facility that will serve this community, Onyukoko Ward, and its environs. In Okinu local government, we have just one general hospital. Officially, it's called Zonal Hospital. It's supposed to be a referral point for various um, hospitals within and outside Okinu local government. The whole of the central, Kogi central local government, refer patients to um, Zonal Hospital Okini, properly known as General Hospital. So having this, um, cottage hospital in this environment will go a long way to reduce the burden that um, Zonal Hospital Okene is faced with. We record a lot of mortalities, maternal mortality, ch uh, child and neonatal mortality due to the, over, uh, the hospital being overstretched. Now, for instance, we have most of the mortalities that are recorded in the General Hospital, that we record in General Hospital, as a result of um, people not having access to quality healthcare, they patronize other quarks due to the, um, the facilities in the zonal hospital being overstretched. If we should have a facility like this situated here and functional, it will go a long way to reduce the burden there and thereby improving the access of people to healthcare services. This community is a very large community. We have close to maybe a rough estimate, you can say maybe 80,000 um, inhabitants here just within. And even from the other villages in neighboring states, there are villages that are close to um, Edo State. People from Ekoma do come to the uh, Zonal Hospital, the General Hospital located okay, to access health services. This place, this facility is closer to them. So they will be able to access health easier here. Then in terms of um, all the, like I was talking about the other facilities that are not well equipped, like the, uh, the quarks around. If you have a facility here that is very functional, 
they will be put out of business and the health of our community will be better. A facility like this, a 20-bed facility, we should have at least two doctors, then 28 nurses, between 20 to 28 nurses on the average. Then if we can have like a pharmacist and maybe four, three to four pharmacy technicians, we'll have a lab scientist and maybe two to four um, medical laboratory technicians, then other um, hospital attendants and other staffs. Here where the hospital was treated, uh, was uh, situated, there's no other hospital here, no government hospital here at all. Before you can get to a government hospital, I think about four, more than four miles or five miles before you get to General Hospital Okine. So we are begging the government, if they can come, look at everywhere bushing. If we read that this is government property, people will be very surprised. So we are, we are appealing to government to come to our aid. Because people, before you, if somebody has a problem now, before you even trek more than 30 miles or enter more than 30 miles, if it's a serious case, the person will give up. So if there is nearby hospital here now, you know, quickly, the, the, you know, the, the person is here before, the, uh, before anything can, uh, can happen. The people of the community are subjected to varying degrees of discomfort and even death in cases of emergency before they can assess Medicare. All of this is happening despite having an abandoned hospital right under their nose. We'll take a short break and we'll be right back after this. Please stay with us.